Hi everybody, I'm Kim. Welcome. Uh, today, let's learn the waistcoat stitch, also known as the knit stitch. This has a pretty little V's, just like knitting. It's a dense stitch. This one is in acrylic. This one is in cotton. The acrylic has some stretch. Not a lot, but it has some. The cotton, and you know, cotton's not a stretch fabric, but this really has pretty much no stretch. And uh, yeah, this is like, Nothing's gonna go through that. This would be great stitch to do for the bottoms of market bags or baskets or purses, anything that you don't want things to fall through and you don't want it to stretch. And I think it would be great to do um, straps for things. Um, like if you're making a market bag or a purse or something and you just want a little extra um, reinforcement, I would suggest doing this stitch and then putting it under and up the sides of the bag and, you know, making your straps that way. That way nothing is going to stretch on it and it's going to be fantastic. Um, it'd be great for like pot holders. I would still, I would still double it and definitely make it out of cotton. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a nice stitch. It's just, I am not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie. That first row of doing it is not fun. So today I'm just going to do a little sample. I'm going to go ahead and chain 11. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This can be done in any multiple you want. As wide as or, or long as you want to make it, go ahead. It has no, it's whatever you want to make. The first row is going to be just single crochets. So we're going to go ahead. Very loosely make crochets a row of single crochets. Um, here's a hint. No matter what yarn you're using, go up one size larger in your hook than you would normally use. And if you have got a hook that has a sharp tip, this part right here, I would definitely suggest using it. That will help you immensely. I, however, do not have any that have a really sharp point, so I'm going to show you just how difficult it is to do this with a regular crochet hook. Okay, so I've got my, my 10 stitches done. That's the easy part. Now let's turn it. And I cannot stress enough how much you need to relax your tension when you're doing this stitch. If you crochet tightly, you are going to have a hard time because this, especially this first row that we're about to conquer, is frustrating. You're going to be, ugh, I don't want to do this. But continue on. And it gets easier. So for me, what I like to do is my first stitch and my last stitch, I'm going to do just a regular single crochet. Just like that. Easy peasy. And I do this because it gives a nice straight edge to everything. Okay? All right. So now, let me pull that out so I can point something out to you. We are going to go, you see how you've got your two bars here? 
this is the top of your stitch and this is the side of it. So you've got this bar and then you've got one leg here and one leg here. See this? You've got it on all of them. Leg and a leg. Think of this as a tabletop. And then this is that little part that goes under it as a reinforcement. And these are the table legs. We are going to pretend we're a small child crawling under that table. Okay? So we need to go under that little reinforcement bar. And right there, pull out that stitch apart. Can you see that little hole right there? Right there. That's where we have to go. So we're going to poke our hook right through there. Grab some yarn and pull it through. Pull up. You want to make these stitches nice and tall so that the next row we can go through a lot easier. Now we're going to go to the next one. There's our table. There's our legs. Or the little kid crawling under it. So go right into that little spot. Pull up, make a nice loose single crochet. There's our next one. You see? And right there, right there, that little hole is where we're going. Just push your crochet hook in there. Show it who's boss. Grab your yarn, yank it through, pull it up nice and tall so you have a nice, um, comfortable stitch to go through next time. Okay, we got a few more to go, guys. Just remember, you can always pull those legs apart and find that little opening. Put your hook through. Pull it up, make a nice, comfortable single crochet. And we're going to go in there again. Just pull that through and up. Make a nice, loose single crochet. And we've got a Find that next one, poke it through, pull our hook back with some yarn on it, just like that. Just like we're going into some weird little tunnel. And we poke it through the middle of that stitch, grab our yarn and pull it through. Yay, we saved the day. Make our stitch. And again, right there, right there is where we need to go. Pull it up so we have a nice stitch for next time. And there's one right there. Pull that up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I just made one on the end. I don't want that one there. I just want to make a regular crochet. So I'm just going to pull that one back out and make it. There. Just want to make sure I still have as many as I started with and not more. And I want my nice even edge. So there's 10. And can you see already? Look. See our nice big V's? turn it over and we've got our upside down V's again. See? We got our table and our legs right there. You guys, this one is going to be oh, so much easier. So just make a regular single crochet. Now we're going into this little baby. See? Bigger V's. Pop that through so much easier. 
pull our yarn up, make our single. Go to that next one. See, you don't even have to like totally pull it apart now. You can pretty much see that, that space waiting for us. So we're just gonna go into that little spot right there. Do you see it? Right there. Just go into the middle of that stitch, pull up our hoop, make our stitch. They're just waiting for us. See how much easier this is? As long as you make your, your stitches relaxed. And always go between the upside down V. Upside down. two, four, six, eight, nine. And I'm gonna put a regular crochet in that very last one. See how pretty that's looking? Let's turn it around. Let's go ahead, make a regular single crochet. Are you guys getting it? See, it's so much easier now. Just, you can see those table legs and you know exactly where to go, right in the middle of the stitch. Pull it up nice, have a nice, comfortably loose crochet stitch to go into next time. Just go in, just like so. Go in the middle. of the upside down legs under the table. Look at that, we're just crawling through that table like we're speed demons. Go in there and then put a single crochet in that very last one. See how nice that's looking? Turn it over and we can go in there and find our upside down V's so easy. I mean, seriously, look, there's a table, there's a table, right there, right there, right there, right there. Just make sure you're going through the upside down V's. You don't want to go through the regular V's. So go ahead and make that single crochet right there and then go in. Oh, it's just waiting for us. Just waiting for us. Look at that. Now see guys, I didn't lie, did I? As long as you're not making really tight stitches. We got this. Because if you're making tight stitches, every row is going to be like that first row. You're going to be fighting to get your hook through. And then you're going to get frustrated and you're going to be like, no way, I'm done. Don't ask me to even think about that stitch again. I'm over it. And there you have it, you guys. Now, I have every confidence in the world that you can go forth and do this stitch. No matter how difficult it may have been for you in the past, you can do it now. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a new stitch or got reacquainted with an old one. And I hope this has been useful and helpful to you. So, make something pretty. 
And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead because you never know what I'm going to do. In a tutorial or a regular podcast. <clears throat> so again, thanks for watching and you all have a great day. Bye-bye.